Hey everybody, it's Anthony Geisen here. I hope your 2021 is off to a good start. I know that mine is. As you saw by the title, this is a camera haul. I paid $195 for everything you'll see in this video. Keep that in mind, $195. There's four boxes like this. And let me give you a little bit more backstory before we dive into some of these items. So three, four days ago, my brother and I were at a local auction. We were just browsing around some of the stuff that was up for auction. Didn't really see anything too great. Uh, my uncle then sends me a text while we're at that auction. He was at a different auction across town. And he sent me one picture and it was four boxes of cameras like this. And couldn't really tell too much from the picture. So he sent me that one image. I didn't want to ask him to send me, you know, like a dozen images, a couple of each box. I thought that would be too much effort. I could see though in the one image, a camera, a film SLR that looked like a Canon AE-1. So that's kind of why I asked him to bid $195. I was like, you know what, if it's an AE-1 with a lens, that's probably worth about that. And then the rest would all be gravy. Little did I know that there was a lot of gravy. So when I actually won the auction that night, I then the next day go and pick the stuff up. And of course, right there on top is that Canon SLR. Turns out it wasn't an AE-1, it was an AT-1, but still has a nice 50 millimeter F1.8 lens on there. Uh, so this alone, that would be, you know, it's good for what you paid for this lot. But some of the other stuff that was buried under these other items is absolutely insane and I really want to get to the biggest find of this whole set. So this is box one of four. I did cherry pick a few items out of each box and put them into this good box. The other three boxes are not so great stuff. It's you know kind of like cheap early digital cameras and early uh, video cameras stuff like that. Nothing great. Everything ranges from like the 70s up until just a few months old. And that just a few months old is the next item I really want to show you guys. This, I, I still can't believe this was in here for $195. It is insane. It, it, okay, I'm just going to show you. It's a Nikon Z6 II. So I, I don't get too into uh, like the current digital cameras, but I do know that this is like the newest Nikon mirrorless camera. And this was underneath some other junky stuff that was in this box. And I'm, I still can't believe it. The only downsides that I can see from this are that it doesn't have its like original packaging. There's no battery for it. There's nothing in that slot. So I can't test it right now. And then the only other thing is I think from just being in these boxes on the edge of the, uh, display on the back there's like a little bit of nick into the plastic doesn't even hit the display the display is perfect i peeled the plastic off it like 30 minutes ago and it's fine the only issue is around the edge there was a little bit of a ding in the plastic or the metal frame i can't tell what it is but 195 dollars for these four boxes and there's a nikon z62 in there 2021 please continue on this path that's amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna put that over here. I'm gonna to have to put some of these on the ground too while I show you. So I'm basically gonna go through most of the stuff that's in this box, then the other three, I'm just gonna kind of give you an overview so you can see what was in them. Cause like I said, not as good. Let's continue. We also have in here this Pentax K1000, a classic uh, entry like SLR film camera. Really nice. It's got a 50 millimeter F2 lens on there. Absolutely love these cameras and these Pentax lenses. So again, even if I just got the Canon in this, probably not too bad for 195. Um, yeah, we'll put that on the ground. Next are two Olympus OM-1s. There's, neither of them have lenses. There's this one and there's this one. Uh, you know, they're in rough shape, but let's see here. Shutter still works and fires, that's a good sign. So two Olympus OM-1s, I have a few Olympus OM lenses, which I've actually done a video on. Uh, my first or second adapting vintage lens video was on Olympus OM Zoico lenses. So these will, you know, work with my OM lens, or my OM lenses. Oops. 
Uh, next up in here, we have digital camera, not as nice as the Nikon Z6 II, but we have a EOS D30, and that's like a three megapixel old camera, but boy, does it feel nice in the hand. That's got a good grip. It's got a top display here, kind of like the Nikon, also having a top display. Um, so yeah, that's a DSLR right there. What else do we got in here? Let's do the other DSLR. It's a Nikon D50, but it also has a broken Sigma zoom on here. Uh, the outer part of this part of the zoom is missing. I wonder if it would still work. Kind of looks a little funky. Uh, and that's a 28 to 300 lens on there. I think the rest of the stuff in this box is all film cameras, mostly point and shoots. We have a Canon WP-1. Looks like a waterproof camera. Um, doesn't have a battery in it, so I can't test it, but I do see that there is some Kodak 400 speed film in there. I'll probably find one of my extra batteries, give that a run, finish up that roll and see if it works. That's gonna be a fun one to try. Speaking of fun ones to try, I couldn't believe this was also in there. I've been eyeing these online because I've kind of been in a point and shoot kick and this is a compact one and this is the Konica Big Mini F. It's got a 35 millimeter f 2.8 lens on there and it's really tiny. This Canon is a 32 millimeter f 3.5. So that's a cool find to get in there. The back of it's a little scratched now that I see that, but you know what, if you're gonna use them, it doesn't matter. Next up, we have a Pentax point and shoot camera here. This one is a 135M, just a random zoom one. We got an Olympus point and shoot. It's got a 28 millimeter lens on there. What else do we got in here? Ooh, that's a nice feeling one. Nikon Action Touch, 35 millimeter F2 lens. That is a beefy point and shoot. That feels rugged, I like that. We got an Olympus Trip MD3 also has some film in it. Can't tell what it is though. There's a Canon Snappy S. I thought it said Snappies. Another kind of basic point and shoot, a Kodak point and shoot, a Olympus Zoom point and shoot also has Kodak Gold 200 film in there. A few of these I'll try and finish off the rolls, see if they work. We got a Minolta point and shoot and a Samsung point and shoot. Okay, so that's this box. You know, there's a few pretty darn good items in there. And now let's take a look at the three other boxes. All right, in box number two here, we've got just kind of an assortment of digital cameras. Some of the earlier Sony Mavic, Mavica kinds, you know, the ones that take like floppy drives. There's some interesting ones here, like this sharp one where you can like rotate the whole screen, stuff like that. Um, nothing that jumps out really. Maybe this little Olympus point and shoot digital camera. Oh, this one's actually kind of cool. This is a Nikon Coolpix NN5. And it's another one of those rotating ones, you know, so you can take pictures in all sorts of different directions, that kind of thing. So we got those, yeah, kind of just a mix of camera stuff, little Nikon cool picks. I think this one's a Fuji. No, Konica Minolta, okay. That's box number two. As you can see, not as good as that first one. Let's get box number three up here. Box number three, uh, what else do we got in here that's kind of cool? This little Casio, 3.3 megapixels, oh my gosh. Um, five megapixels, an Olympus, uh, you know, it's pretty standard run of the mill, like old camera stuff that not very many people want nowadays. Oh, a little disposable, still got 18 shots left in it. Um, you know, what's this Polaroid? Yeah. Here's a weird one. Canon Elf. I don't know what that is, but the flash won't go down. So I'm assuming some of these are probably just broken and damaged. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a Garmin. That's not even a camera. There was a couple other things that weren't cameras in these, uh, some screen protectors and phone cases I took out already. 
Now let's move on to the last box. Final box here, number four, another disposable. This one's got 19 shots left on it. Some, you know, old, uh, easy to use cameras. Oh, this one's still got film in it. What is it? It's, I don't know what kind of film that is, but it said CP. It's in a Bell and Howell camera, CP 36. Oh, it's 200 speed film. I don't know what though. Uh, that feels like nothing. Here's a Fuji film S7000. Um, what else we got in here? A little Sony one. Another one of the Sony Mavica gigantic video cameras, 1.2 megapixel. Um, oh yeah, these things, the little like flip cameras. I remember back in the day, you know, everybody when we'd be skating used these little cheap things because you could kind of bang them around. Oh, here's another one of those Nikon spinny ones. So yeah, the stuff in these last three boxes just isn't as good. Mainly paid for the stuff that was in that first box. So there you guys go. That is my first haul of the year and an amazing one at that. 195 bucks for all this stuff. Pretty hard to beat that when you get a Nikon Z6 II in there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned. My next video is going to be a TT Artisans 11mm f2.8 lens review for the Leica M mount.